coverage tonight on everything that you need to know. Meteorologist Cindy Clausen has the latest on the weather. But first, let's go to Monica Murphy, who's live at Growing Kids Learning Center on the south side of St. Joe County, which also has extensive damage from tonight's storm. So, Monica, tell us what you're seeing down there. Yeah, that's right, Maria. But the battalion chief with Penn Fire says that the alarm came in around 9 p.m., right before 9 p.m. And when they arrived, there was natural gas leaking. They did confirm um, that the back of the building is completely wiped out. Let's take a look at some of this footage on your screen. Complete destruction. Crews warned people right away to stay away. There were hundreds of people out here looking at this building. Again, just complete destruction quite the loss and uh, let's take a listen to some of the sound. We had natural gas leaking from the building. Our crews had to shut off the natural gas and then we had to warn the civilians to stay away. We had a lot of people coming out after the storm and people should realize anytime you have power lines down touching the ground, especially when the ground is moist, you have the, uh, it's called step potential energy. So you can still get electrocuted, not by touching a line, but just being in that general area of the ground that's energized. And so the battalion chief uh, did confirm that there was no loss of life. That is good news. He does want to warn people that this is storm season. So he's encouraging people to have a safety plan and action. Reporting in South Bend, near South Bend, Monica Murphy, New Center 16.